Welcome to Learn How to Garden. Today I'm going to be showing you how to harvest asparagus. If you don't subscribe to me at learnhowtogarden.com, click on the link appearing just here right now, input your email address, and it means you get our monthly newsletter. It also means you get access to the recipes, all the written posts that I do, and all the other information about learnhowtogarden.com. Cropping asparagus is very easy once you actually have been told the very simple technique to do it. And when you look at an asparagus bed, remember you're looking at a bed that will be productive for up to 20 years. So you've got to balance how much you take with how much you leave to put the energy back into the bed. What we have in front of us are some perfect spears for cutting between eight inches and a foot tall and about as big as your finger. And we're probably gonna take half a dozen of these spears. This is just for my lunch. But if we come back over to this side of the bed, what we get to see are these much thinner ones growing. And we're gonna leave those because they will grow, they will go to fern, and they will put the energy back into the asparagus crown in the bed. Now the asparagus crown, if you've watched the How to Plant Asparagus, is a bit like your hand. There's the center where the spears grow from and lots of tapering roots. And what you don't want to do is just pull these asparagus spears off because that will loosen the crown and it will actually damage the bed. You can get the most beautiful tool called an asparagus knife to do this, but I've always found just a very sharp pen knife just as good. We come down, we go about a centimetre underneath the actual soil level and just cut across and out comes our asparagus spear. Move away the mulch about an inch below, push and out comes the asparagus spear. You're cutting away so you don't damage the crown. Very simple. And you crop the bed probably two or three times over a three week period to a month. And what you now want to do is eat these as quickly as possible. So I'm gonna show you how to make what I think is the perfect complement, which is a hollandaise sauce. But I'm not gonna go through the whole faffy process that chefs do. This is gonna be a really quick, simple, but perfect hollandaise sauce. 